All right, so we had another red day for Palantir stock today. We went down, let's see, about 1.2%. We closed at $41.93, down 50 cents on the day. And it wasn't that bad of a day, but this morning it sure looked like it might have been as the stock got down to $40.36, which means at one point it was down 5%. So we did slip. A little bit more this morning, guys. We took out the lows from yesterday, so we have to break down the charts here. My thoughts, what I'm looking to do. But first, hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. I think 50% of you guys are watching this video, but you're not subscribed. And I'm sure a bunch of you have not gotten up to 15 stocks from Moomoo. Listen to this. Fund your account with at least 100 bucks. You get five stocks, and you get a $30 cash bonus which is a brand new offering guys that's a crazy deal plus if you fund your account with at least a thousand dollars you get 10 more stocks free stocks and your uninvested cash earns up to 8.1 percent just check out that link down below or go to stocksurfest.com slash moomoo and with that being said guys let's get into it so palantir it sold off in the morning again we opened up at about 42 dollars and 30 cents we dumped two dollars to forty dollars and 30 cents so we dumped about five percent right in the first no joke uh what was that 30 minutes yeah 30 40 minutes of trading we went down pretty much in a straight line and then we got the v-shape recovery that the bulls were hoping for and essentially erased all those gains or losses rather, but the thing is, Palantir has been in this uh, very similar pattern, if you will, over the last couple of days. You can see right here on the 14th, which was Monday, we had a spike in the morning. Okay, we hit 44.39, but then we got a rapid sell-off uh, pretty much two minutes into open all the way to about noon on the east coast so we sold off pretty dramatically there about a dollar dollar ten cents and then yesterday we had a big sell-off at open right we opened up at about 43 dollars whatever 43.50 we dumped down to 41.50 yesterday then we tried recovering slightly but then we dumped all the way down again so guys not looking good uh, and today we took out the lows from yesterday. So what I'm trying to get at here is the bears are gaining momentum in the very short term. We're making lower lows, lower highs. But this was something that we were anticipating, right? It's not like this came out of left field. I told you guys this a couple of videos ago before the pullback started. I was like, look, I'm long, I'm bullish, but I think a pullback is coming. Let's be realistic here. So we're not surprised. I'm not, at least. Are you? Let me know in the comments down below, guys. But we are seeing a bit of selling. It's normal after we went up <laughs> pretty much $10 in two and a half to three weeks, which is insane. Uh, so, yeah, we're cooling off a bit, and we're still actually holding an uptrend. Yeah, shocker, right? Uh, not a shocker at all. <laughs> We're holding the 180 SMA here on the one hour chart uptrend, clearly holding on the four hour chart, you know, with that dump off we had uh, this morning. Right. And then into the close a bit, we held above that 50 SMA on the four hour chart here, which if that breaks. All right. Maybe we go down to thirty eight dollars, thirty nine. But ultimately, I don't see a, a ton more selling to come here, maybe a little bit more. You know, until until we get the confirmation of a breakout, we really don't know. Right. But I don't know. Maybe a little more selling. Maybe we go down to thirty eight, thirty nine. But I do think ultimately this will get bought up. And, you know, the, the trend still looks really good on the four hour. And we have earnings coming up, which ideally, guys, I like it when stocks pull down before earnings. I don't like them being crazy overbought, crazy frothy, if you will, in the short term. I much rather them be down 20% heading into earnings or down 10, 15%. Because then if they do well, guidance is strong, that could be setting up for a huge rebound afterwards. Whereas if it's price to perfection, you never really know, man. It might sell off 
uh, even if earnings are, are good, you know, you, you just never know. So I don't know. Now that we're down a good $3 from the recent highs, maybe we do sell off a little more heading into earnings, maybe setting up for that pop. Hey, what do you guys think about that? Uh, let me know in the comments. But that's a quick rundown on what happened today on PLTR. Nothing crazy news-wise. Um, at least that I've seen, um, you know, it's kind of like the calm before the storm right now uh, with earnings coming up. You know, I don't think we're going to get anything too big here in the next week or two. Uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, stocks holding strong and we're not surprised. I'm not that we're selling off a bit and we're getting that pullback, healthy pullback, guys. This is how the stock market is, as I'm sure a lot of you already know. But for the beginners out there, don't think that a stock is just going to keep pushing up forever. We're going to get those pullbacks. We're getting the pullbacks. So let's see quickly here what other stocks ended up doing well today, unlike Palantir, which, like I said, went down, uh, which, by the way, the index is today. Oh, man. Russell, 1.6% in the green. S&P, 0.4% in the green. Look at that. Pushing for all-time highs again. The Dow went up 0.8%, man. Look at the Dow. It's gunning for the all-time highs again. But the most impressive has to be the Russell, no doubt. The Russell is ripping out of the highs from the middle of September, being about, where are those, 2250? Yeah, we're taking those out big time. Now we're at 2286. We're 15 points away from 2300. That's a big spot. I'm telling you, man, my, my alert's right there. My first alert already hit. My second one didn't hit yet. If we if we hit that break out of that, this thing is going to all-time highs, in my opinion. And, yeah, we nailed out this call-out, or we nailed this call-out. You guys know the cup and handle. You guys remember I called that out. Boom, cup and handle breakout. Here we are pushing 2300. Let's see how it goes. It's looking really good. Uh, so that's a rundown on the indexes here. It looks like uh, what other stocks moved today? It looks like we got some movement out of Micron, ticker symbol MU, which looks like a cup and handle as well. Look at that cup and handle forming. Uh, so maybe this could be a nice breakout play. <coughs> Let me get some water here, guys. Cheers, by the way. So, yeah, Micron could be a nice breakout play um, if it takes out, let's say, 110. I'm thinking maybe a move uh, up to about 114 or 118. Let me set my alert at 110. Let's see if that cup and handle at some point tomorrow ends up playing out. That would be a good one um, up to about 114 there on Micron. Let me see what else here, guys. Um, NVIDIA, which we'll talk about later. That's looking pretty good. Um, Visa went up 3%, which you guys know that stock got destroyed. Now it's recovered um, a lot of that loss. But actually, wait, it dumped off um, about a month ago. Yeah, that might have been when the DOJ, yeah, that was the DOJ time. So we're recovering that entire loss pretty much. Looks like Visa's going back towards 290, 295, just like that. Eh, that was, uh, you know, short-lived, that sell-off there. But, yeah, Visa is back. Looks like up 3% on the day. Let's do one more quickly here, guys. Then we'll wrap up the video. CrowdStrike. Yeah, CrowdStrike. I've gotten some questions on. Uh, this one broke out like we called out. Cup and handle. Another breakout. Cup and handle breakout we called out. And we broke out of 290, 295. We ran all the way to about 325, guys. And, look, this is a very good sign. Now we're pulling down. We're holding 300, old high from the end of September. We're uh, holding that as support, holding the 50 SMA. And it looks like we're going to start pushing back up here uh, towards 320, maybe even higher. It looks like that's kind of where we're going, right? So that's a quick rundown on a couple of stocks here, guys. Uh, you know, we broke down uh, Palantir as well. Make sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments. Run the like button up. Make sure to subscribe. And, of course, do not forget to check out the Patreon if you want to see me build out my private portfolio, be a part of the Discord chat, see my charts and ideas throughout the week, all of that good stuff. 
is on Patreon, link down below, or go to StasurFest.com slash Patreon. And with that being said, cheers. I'll catch you guys in the next video.